be people that you could connect with they're in the group they're in hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about what's the best way to find the active users in Facebook groups and why do you need to find active user we're going to talk about you know there's lots of ways to find the users in groups but what about the ones that are actually doing something that are actually active anyways we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets right so active users finding the users that are actually active in groups you might think it's pretty simple to do and but there's lots of little variables and lots of things and one thing you might want to wonder is why do you care that they're active or not we're going to talk about that as well so before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis424.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and showing you uh what I'm talking about kind of sharing Facebook and see the process here so let's get right to it and let's go to the to my screen so Sean, you're on Facebook you're scrolling through Facebook <laughs> and one of the things that you've learned as an online marketer is that you need to grow your audience you need to grow your audience you need to get you know more people to like you you need to get more people to follow you you need to be able to get to comment on your posts you need to find you know you get you got to have people uh doing posting commenting on your stuff right I mean I that's kind of what I every day like there's what I guess there was over 20 notifications here uh just from yesterday um so you need to do that too because the only way to sell something online is to have people to sell it to right and building an audience online isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do I mean I've been doing it since what 2015 and I've not yet become a millionaire unfortunately I'm not a millionaire <laughs> but it's coming but the point is that as an online marketer you need to have an audience right so who is your audience it's the people that are interested in whatever you have to sell if you're trying to sell a course trying to sell uh, an affiliate program you're trying to sell uh, a product you're trying to get people into your opportunity all those things they're all they all require an audience so how do you get an audience that's actually going to be interested in your stuff I mean you could you we could talk about um, an email list we could talk about a Facebook fan page we could talk about an Instagram account TikTok account all those different things but today we're just going to talk about Facebook and Facebook groups now the thing with Facebook groups is that it's the I guess it's the medium or the place that Facebook wants people to be right so that's why there's a Facebook group icon right here that's why there's a group little uh <laughs> link right there and that's why in your shortcuts you'll see your groups right <laughs> so if I if I scroll down here and I see the post I'll see posts from people right like for Jennifer Pedro here she's one of my friends that I've been I'm engaging on her post so I see her post in the note in the feed but we're not even talking about the feed we're not even talking about seeing things in the feed right we're talking about seeing things in the uh in groups right why groups because what's in your feed is what you have already engaged with what's in your feed is the posts of people that are already connected with you in some way whether it's because they're your friends or whether it's because you've engaged on some of their posts or maybe you've had conversations with them but they're kind of already in your world you you want new people right you want to find new people so how do you find so first let's say we go to a group like say click funnels offenders right here which is an affiliate group um well actually before I do that let's talk about the groups that you want to go in first you have to decide the kinds of groups you need to go in and how do you decide that it's basically you think of where would your ideal customer be if if you're trying to sell a weight loss product 
well they're probably going to be in a weight loss group if you're trying to sell keto vitamins or vi not vitamins but I guess keto um, uh, plans or keto uh, snacks or things like that they're probably going to be in the keto group if you're trying to sell a course on how to be I don't know uh, how to build a Jenkins server well you're probably going to find them in the Jenkins group like all these things it's pretty straightforward you just go and search Facebook right here you say uh keto diet right diet uh let's say keto diet snacks snack right I'll just say keto diet snacks then I go into here and I say groups right it'll give me a list of groups now you see I'm already in some of these groups but any groups I'm not in are showing up as you know with the little so there's a difference with the, the little blue thing means I'm in the group already these ones mean I'm not in the group and if it's a public group normally you can just join the group but if it's not a public group like a private group then you have to request to join right but the point is that you find the groups that your target market is in I'm just gonna I could go into one of these uh, groups but I'm just gonna go to uh, go back home here I'm just going to go to this affiliate group because there's a lot of it's a big group and there's a lot of stuff so it'll be easy to show you what um what I mean by um finding active users in the group so first we go to the group so let's just go to the group the reason why you're going to go to the group is because you're looking for new people that you're not already connected to so there's lots of different ways that you can find people in the groups right and we're talking about finding the active users now if you just go say to the members right you just click on the link here that shows you who the members are it'll just show you the members of the group right so it'll show you things like uh, the admins then it'll show you the group experts and it'll show you the all the and it shows you your the friends people that are your friends that are in the group it'll show you people that have things in common like this guy here has you know mutual friends that a, a certain number of mutual friends and then uh, members near me like people near me and physically I guess in Charlottetown that kind of stuff right because I'm in Charlottetown and what else and then new to the group it'll show you new people in the group right and you joined two hours ago 22 hours ago so it shows you the new people now now you could you know you could click on these people's profiles and go go look at them because you know if I click on any of these like say I click on Sherry here it shows me right here that she has no posts right so she hasn't posted anything in the group right if I go back to the list here Stan Peters I take a look at this he hasn't posted anything either right so I can kind of find whether they're they're actually posted anything in here right I can do that I could go through each user and you know have a file someplace that I just kind of look at see if they've posted anything um and you know that's one way you can do it right so no post nobody has any posts right so I mean this is obviously not the way to do it right because you're just going to waste a whole lot of time going through every single one of these to see if they're active or not but even if they're active in the group that doesn't mean they're active but let's let's kind of talk about what I'm talking about so back to the discussion you see these tabs here discussion if you go back to this this is basically the post in the group right if I scroll down here I see posts in the group right so this is this is you know the activity in the group right so Facebook will show you the activity it'll show you and what shows up here says most relevant right you can change to most new posts newest activity right so originally I think it was more newest activity it used to be like based on if somebody comments on a post that's been that's been posted a week ago it shows up at the top of the news feed the, the group feed uh new posts is written this is relatively new they didn't have that well anyways I don't I don't remember using it but so this is just the kind of feed the type of feed to look at if I just click on new posts here uh I guess it's the, I don't know was it the same one so see how this is four hours ago this one here was yesterday this one here was September 4th this is September 4th September 4th September 1st right okay so that's that's kind of interesting because I, I guess it's 
maybe it's based on new post let's see newest activity still him here is the four hours ago yesterday at 10 August 9th so August 9th even though this is a post that's almost a month old it shows up at the top of the list because this person well there must be some reason why it's showing up I thought these comments or maybe these replies are recent three weeks ago no <laughs> so I don't even know how Facebook decides to show this post instead of that post right but anyways the point is you can change the what uh what what the feed looks like the, and we're talking about getting the active oh let's let's yeah let's talk about getting the active refining the active users and um yeah sorry yeah okay so we're in the group we're in the group we want to know who's active well it's kind of obvious right this you this person here Vru Meta is definitely somebody who's active in the group he just posted but is he really active so you click on his name here and you can see that he posted here four hours ago he posted July 11th he posted July 7th so he did he posted three posts in the group and he had three comments right okay so that's great now you can kind of see that he's actually active in the group now is he active on Facebook right so go here view main profile and now you look at his actual main profile and you can see whether he's active September 3rd September 1st August 31st so that's pretty good you know within a week or so he's posted a few posts so he's actually active in Facebook <laughs> and in the group so this person here this Vru Meta would definitely be somebody you'd consider active so this is one of the ways to find an act well this is not the one of the ways it's really the only way to tell when somebody's active or not you got to go find them in the group you got to go check their profile in the group to see how how active they are in the group and then you go to their personal profile to find out whether they're active there so now we know that he's active so maybe we follow him maybe we comment on his posts right to kind of let him know that we're there uh the thing that you'll notice is that some people they won't have public posts so this this he's got a public post uh sometimes you're going to go to a profile you know you're not, you're not going to see anything except for their profile picture changes and that's because they're posting to friends instead of public they're posting to friends which means you won't be able to see their stuff until you become a friend with them which you know can be okay but it also means that you can't see whether they're active or not because you can't see their posts uh, but the other thing you can do too is you can look at their about section and you can check out where they live and maybe there's a contact info here maybe they have links to other uh, website maybe they have um you know an Instagram link or a Twitter link or things like that and you can kind of see whether you can connect with them or not in other ways right and um yeah and I I heard of another tool too I don't know what 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 tool it is yet but but I've heard of a tool that lets you uh correlate a person with all the stuff that's online it's totally crazy um uh, seamless.ai I think it's called so that tool lets you find you know whether this Vru med meta is anywhere anywhere else right it's not uh it's not an exact science because uh because there's a because it's you know it's an AI tool so it does some 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 kind of logic but anyways that's beside the point okay so now we found this person we found him he's active so now we have this guy we can maybe take his his link maybe paste it in a, a document whichever way you want to manage this right so now you have this person so and now let's go back let's go back to the group oh actually I, I went and I clicked a whole bunch of stuff recent okay there we go <laughs> we got this one here's the other thing that you can do to find active users in the group when you look at a post like this you can also look at the comments who commented on the post right now there's uh it says top comments is there a way to see all yeah all comments so right now there's one two three there's well yeah three because that's him so there's three other people that posted 
or commented on this post so I can go to this person's post let's open it in a new link let's open them all in a new link open a new tab open a new tab okay so we're going to go to these other people's profile again it's the same process right you look at their profile see they have no posts they this guy Brent Barry he didn't post anything in the group but if we give it time we see that he commented on stuff he liked this and he comments so he he engaged on one post right he didn't post he engaged on one post I can still go to his profile main profile and let's wait for it to load up here and I can look at his profile and we can see right here that he's got lots of things he's a he's an exp realty realtor he's an auctioner at Barry Brent Barry fundraising so I guess that's his own thing um and we can see that he posts public posts uh, I guess he shares things these are shares owned by Brent I guess this is a home he's selling he's a realtor right so he's posts he posted a picture of fishing here August 31st so he's he's pretty active he's got a picture of his kid here or maybe his grandkid I don't know um but he's posting as well right he's posting so this guy might you might consider him active uh even though he just commented on one thing in the in the uh group but that's how you find somebody who's active by doing that again I'm gonna go at the about here and he's a realtor so he might he might just have uh other things but he, I guess he doesn't have contact info here but he's got that okay but that's another one let's go to the next the next one again is the same thing we have Mahir here let's close this one just keep opening it <laughs> um so this one here is he posted he posted this he posted this August 2020 so it's, he's been in the group for a while August 4th so he posted one something in the 2020 three things in 2020 around the same time last year and he commented a few things here uh he commented uh awesome and awesome and your funnels dial we have a huge closing oh this is just a like that's great okay so he did so he's a little active so he did post things right so now if I go back to his profile let's take a look at this profile I just want to show you a couple of different examples um this one here this guy oh this is a good uh, is it uh, yeah this is a good example okay so this guy here is active in the in the group but when I look at his profile all I see is his friends that posted for his birthday here uh this August 9th and then this is August 9th 2021 so the year before and then in, in February he posted one thing so he's not very active or he's posting just to his friends right so depending on what you're trying to accomplish you could always message him I actually been doing I did that in the past where I would message somebody say hey I noticed that you uh, your post I'm not seeing any posts here are you just posting to your friends you know if you're building a business online you might want to consider posting to public and I just say something like that right that's up to you you don't have to do that obviously it depends on the kind of business you're trying to build but if I look at this he's got a link right here this is a link to some sort of offer that he probably has we can kind of click click it and see what that is let's just give it a second oh it's a funnel challenge so it's basically the OFA probably the one funnel away challenge so it's basically an affiliate link to the one funnel away challenge so I'm not going to worry about that um but uh but yeah so you can see that he's not very active right so he might you might think this person is not somebody to connect with I don't know it's really up to you but he does say that he helps to increase sales and revenue in your business he's he's got so maybe his profile he's got a link right here seems funnel for beginner.com so is that his page sale blog for beginners sales sales funnels so he's got a blog here contact us <coughs> he's even got a phone number Mahir Bajai yeah I guess that is him right Mahir, yeah that's him so he's got a 
he's got a page here he's even got a phone number and he's got a Skype ID right here that you can find by just going through this process of clicking on things and finding stuff right so that would allow you to connect with this person if you wanted to right so that's another one let's look at the next one this one here we had no posts but two comments two reaction commented and reacted right so now if I go to her main profile uh, you can see that it says help us finding affiliate marketers start their online journey with proven organic framework she's got a Facebook group and uh, which is might be the same thing here yeah that would probably be the same thing and um, she's got another link here book book a call what else and then we're just seeing waiting to see if there's going to be anything that loads up in her pay in their posts oh it looks like this person sent me a friend request that's because I've been using this strategy for a while and what I do is I will actually engage on the person's personal posts on their page let's just reload this maybe to see what's going on so the idea like I said is to find new people that you don't know already the people that are in your news feed they're not new people they're people you've been engaged with for a while now you might be just starting online you might be just starting your Facebook uh building a, a business using Facebook and maybe this is brand new so anything that you see on your feed is good to go because you're new right but most people uh, that I talk to are not new they've been using Facebook for a while for years for most of them I mean me I've been using Facebook since what 2008 I think it was 2009 when I started it's not I'm not you know one of the first users of Facebook but still it's been a while right and I don't know why it's not loading but anyways whatever I guess it's just another example but we'll just close this go back to here but that's how you find the active users you you just look at who's commenting so here's another post this is another person right here and there's 30 comments here right there's, there's actually 30 comments so this one you can actually go and look at all these different people that are here that all these people could potentially be people that you could connect with they're in the group they're in the group of your target market like me this I'm showing you affiliates right now right but they're in the group if it's in keto or weight loss or whatever it is you're doing they're in that group and they're interested in what people who are interested in the group right so I mean if it's an affiliate if you have an affiliate program and you go to an affiliate group then chances are they might be open to hearing about your affiliate program right but if you're if you're trying to sell an affiliate program to people who are interested in knitting instead of you know maybe knitting products you're not going to find too many people in there that are interested in affiliate programs right so you got to go to the group that makes sense for your product your target market right and it's like <laughs> it's pretty cool to see how easy it is to find the right people in groups right but it's still not it's it's not obvious until you go through it a few times right so that's why I'm kind of showing you right now that you can find people in groups that are active by looking at who's there now you can like I said you can go look at the group members list right and um, Facebook doesn't actually let you see if I go to the members list right again if we go back to the members list I mean you can I mean obviously you don't want to do that I had friend had friend had friend had friend right that's not a smart thing to do because you Facebook will block you if any of them report you or complain or whatever right you'll get blocked plus you can't do more than a certain number uh, per day and and there's no point in adding friends to people that aren't really interested in what you got I mean Facebook is a social network to start with so sure you can build friendships and all that but if you're trying to build a business with Facebook then it's not about becoming friends with them it's be it's about having content that they're interested in and being able to see your content you show you reacting on their content and all those things right <laughs> so I okay so I just kind of laid out the process here so when you're in the group 
you first let's do a little note notepad here where am I right here notes new note new new text document public notes and paste the group in there okay paste the name I should say okay so how what's the best way to find active users in Facebook groups right so <laughs> number one uh find group that your ideal customer is in right is in number two go join go join that group join that group right obviously you can join a ton of groups you don't have to join just one you can have a bunch of groups and number three you go to that group to that group that group and look at posts and comments number four click the profile name of who posted and who commented right so you go to the group you click on those and then number five check their um, group activity and their and then and then well let's just do that like this number six go to their personal personal profile to check their activity there so by doing these things right by going finding a group of your ideal customer right your avatar your your target market finding a group that they're in you go join that group then you go go to that group every day basically you do this every day and actually that's the thing go to that group every day every day and look at posts and comments so every single day so now let's just say now every day let's do this every day let's make this one two three four okay so every day so now you want to do this right so you want to go to the group go to to group to the groups go to the groups because you're going to find groups right you're going to find more than one group go join those groups you, you're not going to have just one group right probably you're going to find a dozen of them or at least or at least right and join those groups right so you're going to go to those groups every day and look at posts and comments you're going to click the profile name of who posted and who commented in the recent posts and you're going to check their group activity to see if they are active well here's the thing if they posted and they commented well they're active in the group at least right but then you're going to go to their personal profile to check if they're active on Facebook if they're actually active on Facebook or if they're just in that group engaging that group right so that's kind of what you got to do all the time every single day right and that's that's like a lot of work isn't there there is a better way there is a better way so if you want to know what the better way is stick around I have um I'm, I'm just going to show you a tool that I use that I created that lets us do this so how does this work so you've got you can have a tool that will give you um it's it's an act it's a it's called active group users it's actually a chrome extension you just install it and then it'll actually give you this information like this it'll give you the list of people that are actually active so basically it'll just do this for you right it does all this for you it goes to the groups every day and it looks at the post and comments it it goes and finds the people who posted and commented and it goes to their personal profile to check their activity there and gives you a list of the people that are actually active in the groups right so this is just the first you know there's a bunch of different like whatever all this is but the thing is that once you have that in your uh, once you have that data you can just go and click on their names and you can go straight to their profile just by clicking click 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 you don't have to you don't have to click on the post and then click on the comment and then click on the and the thing is that um 
like this person here he has no posts it says no posts right so me what I do is I go back here and I just put a note here I said no posts so the tool um does tell you that there's a he's got a comment on his on his uh, post but there's no there's no posts in the profile so you could I could have just ignored everybody that has a zero there um but I you know like if I go to this one here whoops uh let's go to this one and if I go to her profile <coughs> now I can see that she's got some posts right so I can go ahead and, and engage on some of these posts I can say uh what does she say let the root cause of fears and doubts offer subconscious uh this private group sounds like a great group to join so I'm just going to say that or actually I should oh yeah let's do that it doesn't really matter the point is that you're engaging on their personal posts you're engaging on their profile you know you're not engaging on some some post in the group they post it on their profile because they want people to engage on their stuff so they're gonna really appreciate that right and I get messages all the time from people saying thank you so much for engaging and things like that so that's kind of what I do here so she's saying here offering three service providers a free one-to-one -one, 20 minutes of subconscious revival session to go live like a pro mm. I'm going to say that's awesome that's awesome I'm going to use doing lives for years Right. Right. Here we go. Two. Two lives. Don't worry. I don't know. This is the thing, right? I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna see that while I'm recording. I'm kind of like I don't want to spend too much time with a. But normally I would spend time to think through the comment a little bit more. <coughs> um you know it's uh I want time and budget freedom right and of course I got a typo there but uh anyways okay so and uh let's see so that now I've got I've commented on three posts and I reacted on three posts so then what I do is I just close this and I just go here and I say I commented on three posts and I reacted on three posts so I just save that so now here's the thing with this tool you you basically the tool does all this for you right all this here all this well you still have to do this you still have to go find the groups you got to join the groups but you don't have to do any of this you just do you just use that information afterwards right so in the tool you can see that there's um if I load this up here you can see there's groups here right all these groups that I I put in here inside the tool these these are the groups I want my tool to go find people that are active right so I tell the tool to go do that right there's a bunch of options other things but that's really the just of it if you want to find active people in Facebook you either have to you know do this do all this or you use a tool that lets you do this the tool by the way is you can go find it at active groupusers.com or I'll paste it right here I have it right here uh right there you can go to activegroupusers.com right so that's where you're going to find the tool it's a there's a free 14-day trial it's a free 14-day trial right so just try it out see how you like it see uh and uh, and see if you have any questions you can always reach out but this is the best way to find active users in Facebook that's definitely for sure all right hopefully you found some value from this and you learned how to find users yourself and you know there's a tool for it but you can do it yourself that's all good for me and we'll see you in the next video
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.